Hey you all, this video is sponsored by Best Fiends. Best Fiends is a free puzzle adventure game where you collect cute fiends and match same color objects to defeat the slugs. It's Mother's Day in Minutia and what better way to celebrate being a mom than with flowers, right? So play the tulip challenge to win huge prizes on this game. Download the game for free using my link below to get $5 worth of gold and diamonds for free. The game is free and then the link down below gives you free gold and diamonds, $5 worth, okay? So you don't have to pay anything completely free. Plus you get $5 free gold and diamonds just by clicking the link down below. Best Fiends is like best friends, but without the R. Happy Mother's Day. Let's get started with the vlog. So we're at the dentist for the kids this morning. Oh, let me see. Beautiful. Look, you're gonna get your teeth done. Oh, brush. Look, at <laughs> Look at you. Oh, does that feel good? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Bigger, oh. bigger. Go ah. Uh, go ah. Uh, open ah. Uh, big. Bigger, bigger, buddy. Bigger, He's bigger. Like, uh -uh. <laughs> All right. So you're going first, Mora. <laughs> Isn't that cute? You guys doing okay? <laughs> Getting your work done while you're watching cartoons. <laughs> Cutie. Ooh. Ooh. You guys got cute. What'd you get in there? Oh, some toothpaste, toothbrushes. And stickers. Yep, you guys are getting your x-rays. Good. All right, it's your turn. You gonna hop up there? All right. And then I'm gonna go check on your brother real quick so I can make sure he's good. You good to go? All right, watch my purse. Sit down. Ooh, nice. Mommy has to get some fillings too in her teeth. Cadence gets braces. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> no, you don't want braces. Then you can't eat gum. You can't eat candy. You it's can't okay. eat. You can't, I can't eat popcorn. Eat anyway. it's, it's not good for you. Yeah, but you don't remember that when you get home. You're just saying that because we're at the dentist. Thanks. <laughs> it's got to get his teeth, his cavities filled today. So we're gonna stay and do that at least one side, and then we'll come back and do the other side. Oh my goodness, Mr. Lion has some teeth. Right now we're waiting on them to get fillings. Cadence, Kaya, and Kingston all three needed fillings and some caps. So we're just waiting on them to get that done while we wait in the hallway. Sit down, Junebug. Sit down. We're not moving the chairs. Stop pulling that stuff out. I had to give them laughing gas. Okay. But they're all doing really good. I'm just bouncing around from room to room. I didn't know they were going to be able to do their fillings the same day here. So, I mean, that's a good thing so I don't have to come all the way back. But I was kind of nervous, but they're all doing really good. So it's, it's good. Just a matter of keeping the little ones from getting too crazy. What's up, you all? Okay, so I'm finally done with all of that. Um dentist stuff that literally took all day like we got there at 10 o'clock this morning we didn't leave until almost one o'clock this afternoon so everybody was hungry everybody was fussy everybody was tired um and so i had to hurry up go i grabbed lunch for me and um hubby which was just subway and then i grabbed the kids soup cadence had some cavities on her big molars so they had to put fillings on those kaya unfortunately had to get caps um and kingston he had to get some caps and fillings and then he actually needs more on the other side as well of his mouth but they couldn't do it all in one day so he's gonna have to come back and get it done again um 
and then uh, yeah so that's it and then they they wanted to do some cavities for the twins I mean they wanted to do caps on the twins but I told them no because their cavities were so small and it's like I'll bring them back in three or four months and then we'll reevaluate then if they're not getting bigger I'd like to wait and if they are getting worse then we can fill them but anyway I was like I felt so bad I'm like I need to I'm on I feel like I'm on them about brushing their teeth like I make them brush their teeth every day of course because you know the number one reason why we brush our teeth is not only just to have healthy teeth but if you don't brush your teeth your, your teeth stink your breath stinks you know what I mean so I'm always on them to brush their teeth so I know that I'm telling them to, I know that we're doing it, but there are a couple things that we aren't doing. We aren't flossing, which is like, I'm guilty of that for myself. So of course I'm not gonna force my kids to, to floss. I haven't been making them floss. And that has been bad because they're getting cavities inside, in between their teeth. So I feel bad for that. Um, but I'll tell you who doesn't have cavities, Cash or Junebug. So I really wanna make sure that I correct these bad habits that we've gotten into with our teeth anyway that's taken care of my mother's day gift to myself is getting my nails redone because they're looking real janky right now like i only got one nail on here and these ones need to be done i haven't had my nails done since before blaze was born so i said i'm gonna go um and get my nails done i like to treat myself too um i've never been one of those people i've never been one of those people that's like I gotta wait or drop hints to somebody else to to get what I want. I'm exhausted because of all of that that we had to do um, earlier. It was just a lot with all seven of them. I don't think we've all seven, I don't think I've had all seven of the kids out on an adventure like that in a long time since before Blaze was born. So it really took a lot out of me, especially because last night Blaze didn't go to sleep until like 12:30, and I was exhausted from the day. I saw that in I saw in my last uh, vlog that a couple of you guys tried to get, put out some guesses on where we're moving to. Okay, um, and it's already finalized. We've already well, I guess as final as we can make it before we actually make the move. Um, we have made our decision. We've done our research. We have made a sound decision. I feel like, um, and it's. I don't know. I want to talk to y'all about, about it, but I feel like every time we start this conversation, I get busy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta go. So, y'all just got to wait. I don't know. Where you think it's gonna be, guys? Where y'all where, where going? Where y'all think? So far, no one's guessed correctly. But, um, you know, I don't know. Talk amongst yourselves for a moment. Let's, let, let's figure it out. So, I got my got my nails done. Look at them. They're so cute. She always does a good job. Um... I went with the stiletto this time and I just had her dull the, the the round edges. What the fuck? I have the light, bitch. <clears throat> anyway, I just had her dull the edges for me so that, you know, I wouldn't go stabbing somebody in the eye or something, you know what I mean? One of my children. At six o'clock, I'm quite certain the kids are, are hungry and so i need to get back home but like i said earlier i'm gonna go to the liquor store and get a couple of like smirnoff drinks for me and hubby i mean they're only like eight percent alcohol um but i found they're really good i'm gonna show you guys when i get there this water is hot as hell oh my gosh guys like hot ass water But I'm so thirsty. Y'all ever been in that situation like where you like this? It's got to be, you know, like a real dire situation in order for me to do this. But oh my god, have y'all ever been like woke up out of your sleep in the middle of the night, but too damn tired to get up and go downstairs? And like you have a cup of water from maybe when you went to bed and it's all warm, lukewarm, and you're like, oh, I'm so tired. I, I but I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Drink that water, okay. I know I'm not the only weird person out here, okay? My, D, D will not, he will not usually drink. He would have to be like dying of thirst. Me, I'm like, fuck it, I'm not going downstairs. I'll just drink some water. I'll just drink this and go back to sleep and get some water in the morning. 
I'm not gonna like it, but it'll quench my thirst and I'll be able to go back to sleep. What are y'all's plans for this weekend? Y'all doing anything fun? What's going on for Mother's Day? Like, what are you guys doing? Like, what are you guys doing? Personally, Mother's Day for me this year, it's like, I don't want anything from anybody. All I wanna do is sleep in and, you know, maybe get some breakfast in bed so I don't have to cook <clears throat> and I just want the kids to behave themselves and um, not harass me, maybe be able to like lounge around. I want the house to be cleaned. And if there's any problems, I don't want to have to deal with them. I want hubby to, you know, deal with them. You know what I mean? Just, I just want a real peaceful day. Um, I want my kids around me. So it's not like I want them to go anywhere or anything, even if we're not like sitting up under each other all day, but it would be nice to like watch a movie with them but just be able to relax you know maybe treat myself to like a spa facial and um i got my nails done so maybe like i don't know just cater to myself a day of rest relaxation as much as i can and then also guys like oh my gosh so kaya's birthday is not next Friday but the following Friday and also they get out of school that week the kids get out of school that week so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for her because I'm not gonna throw her a huge party clearly because <clears throat> you know you guys they get like one good big party every couple of years and I don't want to feel I don't you know y'all could call me what you want to call me I'm not throwing kids birthday parties every year and my kids birthdays some of them are back to back like Cadence Kingston's are back to back and my birthday are back to back the twins birthday is right before all of our birthdays it's like you know I would go broke I would never have any money because you got to go big or go home with every birthday you know then inviting the same people out it's like no I don't have time for that I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with her. I asked Kaya what she wants to do, and I think she's still trying to figure it out, too. So now I'm trying to put it in her mind, like, Kaya, start thinking about what you want to do. Start thinking about what you want to do. Because I'm going to take you to do whatever you want her to do. I'm thinking, you know, I hate Chuck E. Cheese, okay? I personally, y'all, I don't know if y'all remember me telling you this. I freaking hate Chuck E. Cheese. Like, I cannot germs everywhere you know snot nosed ass kids probably scratching their butt not washing their hands properly you know <laughs> kid type kids i'm not a fan of it plus my kids go there all the time that is like the one place my mom takes them like you guys want to go on an outing if we're not going to the mall or if they're not going to the park or something they go to chuck e cheese and half the time i'm paying for it my mom would be like give me the money and i'll take them to chuck e cheese and i'm like eh, okay it's an outing they get to get out of the house <laughs> but I, I pay for it, but I don't like going. So usually she'll take them. And I'm like, I I just don't want to do Chuck E. Cheese. So if we can do anything else, fine. So we got to figure out what we're going to do for Kaya's birthday. I want to do something, but I don't want to do something, you know, extravagant. I just want to do something nice for her birthday. I said I was going to throw the kids one big birthday party this year. I wasn't going to just throw each individual kid I said I was gonna try the idea of throwing everybody one birthday one birthday on a day that's not their birthdays you know what I mean so it's not like oh it's Kaya's birthday but we're celebrating all of our birthday on Kaya's birthday you know what I mean not like that it's gonna be like today is a random day in June and here's our birthday day we're celebrating today then on each of their actual oh they're cute cute little girls but see the problem is you walking around town asking for a raping that's <laughs> that's what i be thinking like they're cute little girls you know they have their little hair and their little you know crop tops and their little ripped jeans <laughs> but you know it's like you better be careful girl because you walking down a really busy street and i know we on a good side of town supposedly bad things happen in, in good neighborhoods all the time you know what i'm saying supposedly good neighborhoods you know what i'm saying i'm just saying girls better watch out so I wouldn't be letting my daughters walk. I'd be like, don't walk down the street like that, even if you're with your friends, you know, it's dangerous. Anyway, you know, I wanted I wanted to try to try that idea this year. I'm not sure because now we're moving, guys. Um, and so 
I don't know if I should tell you all now. I know you're like, are you going to get to it? Are you going to tell us where you're moving, Chrissy? Or are you just going to move and not tell us until you move or what? We just going to continue to play this game every vlog. I should keep it going, though. I really should, like, watch next vlog. And I will put a clue in every vlog. <laughs> all right. So, maybe I will do that. Okay? The clue is, it's hot. It's very, very, very hot in this state, okay? Like 100 degree plus weather in the summertime. There's your clue. So now y'all tell me where we moving to. Tell me where we're moving, okay? Tell me in the comments, you all. Tell me in the comments. You know I gotta keep doing my nails because I just got my nails done. Like, tell me down below, you all. Like, tell me down below. Anyway, she doesn't even know what she wants to do for her birthday, honestly. I asked her what she wants, like, as a gift, and she's like, she, I want my own cell phone. I'm like, of course my seven-year-old wants a freaking cell phone. I'm not trying to buy my seven-year-old a cell phone that works, but I'm thinking of maybe buying her like something like a cell phone or a cell phone that doesn't necessarily have phone access, but she can still like play her games and do all the things that the other kids are doing on theirs because she's got a tablet. She's, she's had several tablets. And so I think she's over the tablet thing. And maybe just, I don't know. I don't know. Back to the guess on where we're moving. I can tell you right now, people are guessing Texas a whole lot. We are not moving to Texas, okay? I can tell you when we're not going. We're not going to Texas. We're not going to North Carolina. People took what I said in my last vlog and ran with that. Like, that's where you guys are moving. Texas or North Carolina, you're moving to Texas. I'm like, no. I know everybody and their mama is moving to Texas right now, but... We're not moving to Texas. We we are planning to make that, you know, in the future, kind of trying to get back to Texas. But I think right now we're both trying to pursue opportunities and things in other places. And, you know, there are places that are a lot cheaper to live in than Texas. Texas is cheaper than here, but it's not cheaper than where we're going. So, yeah, you all, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I feel like lately all I've been doing is running errands. All we do is run errands together. Like, this is what our relationship has become. Nothing but car vlogging. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, do you have a Little Caesars in you guys' neighborhood? In you guys' town that you guys go to? We have Little Caesars out here. I love Little Caesars because you can get $5 pizza from them. So if I don't want to cook, you know, I can just come up here and grab pizza. Problem is everybody does that so like especially on Friday nights it is super packed like that day I came over here and I told you guys like yeah um I'm gonna get a pizza for the kids that day I was really stressed out and it was packed that day and this lady comes out with like a whole bunch of pizzas that's because they're five dollars basically five six dollars a pizza anyway this is what they look like Smirnoff Ice Smash is what they're called these have to be new. I don't think I've seen these before. The lemon line ones, and they're only $1.99 at my liquor store. So I, I get like a couple of them. I don't drink them all, but I get them all. I get a lot of them. So I get the lemon line ones. So I got a couple of those for me and hubby. I'm not standing in that line. Like it's literally outside of the door. You couldn't pay me to do it. I thought about it because I don't want to cook dinner. I'll just have to give the kids something that we have at home i'm not standing in that line after spending two hours getting my nails done okay no how are you feeling now you feeling better i got i yeah. got a tooth today yeah you did because you have cavities because you're not brushing enough so you need to brush more right yeah okay all right hey back the camera breath to be dead i know fed everyone soft foods because that's all they could eat anyway um, so basically, we just had a repeat of lunch. Yeah. Okay. And um, I forgot to grab Tylenol for the kids. They need Tylenol. Well, Cadence and Kaya, or Kaya and Kingston need Tylenol because they're still having pain, which they told me was to be expected. So now I need to go to the Walgreens drive through Thank God it's a drive through because I don't have to get out again <sighs> and get medicine. Get Tylenol. Little Bambino here. The littlest of the littles is sleep. We figured out, we did have, we do have a newborn pillow for him and a boppy pillow and all that fancy stuff. And we figured out that he sleeps better 
laid out flat on this pillow. So we just kind of watch him. Oh. 